425 out of a possible 2,500. The rest. This is Harry Bolt of Germany. Wojciech is the horse. Harry's the individual silver medalist from 64. The 1974 world champion, Team Gold. Team Gold at the 64 Olympics. And so far, Wojciech and Harry Bolt have gone through about six minutes of their test, and it has been superb. Kelly? We just had a view from the back of the two-track, where they cross over, and it was an excellent view. Now his extended canter. The Germans excel not only in the clarity of movement, but absolute accuracy. When they have to stop at K, they stop at K. It might be interesting to note here that there are a number of collective marks that the judges will be scoring. The paces, the freedom and regularity of the pace, the impulsion, the desire to move forward, the submission, the attention and confidence, and the harmony, and for the rider's position, seat, and the use of the aids. He's just starting his second pirouette. The back legs must stay in a very tight circle on the spot. That was beautiful. Oh, fantastic. I think we are looking very close to the gold medal. It is apparently between this German, Harry Bolt, and Christine Stuckelberger of Switzerland. He is changing his stride every other, every second other stride. When he goes across the diagonal, the next time he will change his rein, his canter lead, every other stride. Watch how the horse will change in the hindquarters as well as the front. Good shot there. Good shot from the reverse angle. Excellent. Some horses don't change behind. They keep their legs on a parallel, but he is really swo swooping his back legs beside each other, and that's what they must do. Look at this. There's a good shot there in the profile. Look at the head is still, the tail is still. There's no resistance. The whole thing is a beautiful performance. Harmony of horse and rider. Really is, and the head is just gently bent in the direction of his movement to the right, cantering on the right lead. Now he goes down the center line, halt, and you can see how he must be absolutely square, back legs and front legs directly in line with each other. Rain back, passage. Oh my, that is glorious. The transitions of this horse are so accurate. He doesn't sort of hum and ho and, and wobble, he goes right into a passage. This is Harry Bolt of Germany. The horse is Wojciech. He must do two eight meter circles in a figure eight. And then the most difficult part of the test is coming up where he must do a transition from this elevated trot, the passage, into a piaffe, which is Elevated trot on the spot. Oh. There it is. <laughs> that was just superbly done, that transition. It was excellent. The thing that the judges look for is whether the back legs stay elevated. And that concludes the test of Harry Bolt of Germany and Wojciech. And for Harry Bolt of Germany, a total of 1,863 points, he leads the competition. And now, and now we take a look at Christine Stuckelberger of Switzerland. She was fifth in the world championships, currently the European dressage champion, and she is doing the center line five counter changes at hand, the half pass to either side of the center line. That really is a beautiful picture, that very strong horse and a very tactful 29-year-old woman riding him. We perhaps thought... I'm sorry, Kelly, I was just going to say that uh, on Harry Bolt's ride that we have just seen, we saw the camera in the reverse angle from that. Yes, we saw most of the rear end movements of that center line, half pass, and now we're seeing it from the, the front. This horse is rather like Harry Bolt's horse, German, Hanoverian breeding, very powerful. The She's pirouette. Going into her pirouette, and those back legs must stay in a very tight circle. No, it's rather wide, Gordon. Little She's not performing a championship ride today, I don't think. This is Christine Stuckelberger of Switzerland. The horse is Granat. She's changing 
her lead every second stride at the canter. The judges watch to see that the hind legs change and swing by each other. And he's doing that. Now he will change every other stride. One of the things the judges are looking for, of course, is the brilliance of performance. Whoops, he missed one of his changes there. That's very bad for Granat. This just hasn't been on cue today. Harry Bolt was so accurate. And this horse, although powerful and brilliant in his gaits, just hasn't shown the accuracy of movement. Once the team has all gone through their three riders and horses, then the 12 best marks will be called back for the individual championship. And in 1972, it was the first time a Canadian had made it into the 12 top. Chris Lott Boylan. Gunnats rein back and transition to the Passage. That was a lovely transition. She is within just a few seconds now of the conclusion of the mandatory 10-minute test. In the event that you hear a bell ring in the background, it signals that she would be overtime, and there are penalty faults for overtime in the dressage competition. That's an excellent passage, Gordon. There's a great deal of dwell to it. He remains suspended in the air, all four legs up in the air. Now, he will go into the Piaffe, where he does not move forward. There's not as much action in that Piaffe as in his passage, but it's pretty good. Transition again. The latter part of her test, I thought Kelly was better than the first part. Christine Stuckelberger, Switzerland, Granat. And there is the score, 1,869, which uh, beats Harry Bolt of Germany by six points, who is now sitting in second place. Christine Stuckelberger of Switzerland on Granat, 1,869. Kelly? This is the team event, and this excellent score of Christine Stuckelberger will put her team in an excellent position, and she had to get that kind of score for the Swiss team. But I must say, I think that they favored her slightly. It could have perhaps been Harry Bolt to help his team a little more than Christine. 